Let's continue with analysis of the dual copiano. Okay, so now we have this position and now we have covered the five main lines of dual copiano. So now we will go into somewhat less popular moves, but which are also played from time to time. So one of them is d4. So here black doesn't have much trouble if black takes with this bishop. So now white can have some possibilities, but black is absolutely okay. Okay, instead of this d4 move, however, there white can play this sacrifice, which can be somewhat problematic for black if he doesn't play it properly. So let me give you the refutation of this of this sacrifice. So here it's check. So we just grab material and now white has two choices he can he can castle or he can also move d4 so let's let's first let's first go with this d4 move so now the position is just as in the previous one however our king is exposed here so here we start just the same way we capture this pawn then he will probably take back knight takes now he will probably castle then we make this move He can go like this, we retreat, then he will probably push another pawn, so here we just take this pawn, and if he takes we just exchange material, and after check we just defend the king, and we prepare artificial castle and black is simply better in this position and white can quickly get into trouble okay so instead of move 7 castle uh, no instead of move 5 d4 he can castle here so now we need to play d6 then he can play like this we develop the knight and he will probably play this move sooner or later so this time we do not capture the spawn but we just retreat the bishop Okay, so he may go like this, but in this case we just we just exchange pawns. We bring the rook here after check. We just move to safety, and now we just develop the knight. And black is absolutely okay here, attacking the queen and also threatening this knight white can quickly get into trouble okay so let's go let's move to the another possibility so instead of this sacrifice here so another less popular move played here is this move sacrificing the knight and here again black should be careful because of course black can have advantage but 
also black can lose the advantage. So here we just take material and now he forks. So here I recommend to play like this. We don't want any complications, so this this leads to the most simple positions. And now he will take the bishop of course. Then we develop the knight. He may play like this. We just castle. And now he can play for example b3. So in this case we just move here. Then if he castles then we go here. And we go here and black is simply better. Okay, instead of move 8, b3, playing here, he can also castle already. So in this case we just centralize the rook and only then we go, but this time to this square. Black is simply better here. Ok, so we have now covered another possibility for the fourth move. Instead of this, there is also sometimes played the h3 move. So we just develop here and we just castle. Black has no problems. Another fourth move of white is this queen e2. We develop the knight and then he can play for example this move. So we just castle or instead this move he frequently can play also this move so then we just first go d6 and soon we will also castle okay and the next move from this less popular lines is this a3. In this case we go d6. He will probably go here. So we, we develop the knight and we just castle. No problems for black here. Okay, and then we have this move, knight g5, which loses material. It's a blunder, but it is also played sometimes. So we just capture the knight for free. Okay, so we have just covered the less popular moves in the move 4 of Duo Copiano, and in the next part I will discuss very rare, very unusual moves, which are played very rarely or probably even they are not played at all, but we have to be prepared for all the possibilities.